This is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by star Alan Tudyk, one of the members of the cast of Premature, which is premiering here at South by Southwest. Um, I want to start by just sort of how you got involved with this project. You're someone who has a very eclectic background. You've worked on a wide range of stuff. What made you decide to do specifically this project when you have a diverse background behind you? Uh, it's, it's the type of thing I've never done before. I mean, I've never done a... I never read a movie like it before. It was uh, an original idea. Uh, it seemed ridiculous and uh, fun to do. And uh, I love the idea of playing somebody who cried a lot. Yeah, you have actually a sort of interesting part, and I guess everyone does, in the sense that the story is about a boy whose sort of day keeps repeating itself. And is that challenging an actor to sort of have to do the same scene over and over again, but m mutate it slightly each time? Like, how is it trying to make it fresh for yourself? Because, I mean, I imagine after, like, the 30th take, you're like, okay, you know, I've said lupus enough times, I'm ready for this. Yeah. Right. I, I feel like every um, every movie has that, you know? Uh, you know, you you end up just seeing one scene, or one take of, uh, of a scene, but you've done it several times from different angles, from different uh, setups, different cameras, so... Uh, it's, it's kind of just doing a brand new scene every time, even though it's similar. At least for me, my, my scenes were usually similar, but I never, I didn't repeat verbatim a lot. I did a lot of similar things, because when his character changed his action, it changed my reaction. I have to say, by the end of the movie, he's got to be one of the greatest mentors ever. <laughs> like, the way he just, you know, tutors that kid under him, like... It, I, I gotta imagine that's gotta be a great, uh, fun time. In terms of acting, though, like, obviously you're a very talented guy. You can do dramatic, comedic. Is it difficult, as somebody who's talented comedically, to, you know, make sure it's up to snuff? Because you have a lot of fans who like your work a lot, and every time you do something, you're probably trying to make it entertaining for them. Is it challenging to sort of maintain a level of comedic success or just do you, do you not even worry about that kind of stuff? Mm, I guess uh, I feel like the hardest part about acting is knowing what to say yes to like if you if you if you're fortunate enough to have an opportunity to do a job to be, to, to be secure enough to say no to some of them you know that if you say no to this job, that another one will come along. Um, because you don't know if it's going to be good, so you're always just going up with your gut. If you read a thing and everybody around you is saying, this is really good, you should do this. But if I don't get it, and I say, I, 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 I'm not usually thinking like, my fans were, uh, are expecting a certain sure. level of, but it's just, if, if, I don't, if I don't respond to it, I, I would say 80% of the time I say no. <laughs> hey, you know, but there's 20% where I, I roll the I, I dice. I agree with you. I think in Hollywood, the ability to say no is probably a tough thing, let alone like a willingness to actually do it. So that's got to take some uh, guts for sure. Yeah, it's, 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 not e it's not easy for me. I'm sure for some people it's like, nope, and they never turn back. I say nope, and then I go, ugh. So in the vein of the film, I wanted to know either or both uh, what day would you like to least relive or what day would you most like to relive wow what day would I most like to relive losing your virginity has got to be a pretty oh that'd be one. fun that'd, that'd be fun but tough at the same time oh I like, mean that's so much stress Right, but I mean, if you keep reliving this virginity day, you get really good at it by the end. Um, yeah, I guess that. Uh, uh, that sounds like a good one. And, it, and it's very similar to the movie. Um, but least like to relive, I don't know, some deep failure or loss. <laughs> one of those days that you can't stop. Like, yeah. Um, it's probably a tough one to come off the Yeah, you know, one of the many tragedies yeah. that have befallen my life. Yeah. Any one of those days. Um, 
what is your sort of perspective in terms of, I mean, I don't know if it's a career planning kind of thing, but you know, this is obviously a very much a much more independent project than some of the ones you've worked on. Do you intentionally want to do something like work on indie films because it might give you more ability to do different characters, something like that? Or do you even, is, is it just like you evaluate every project as it comes to you? Because there are some people, you know, like Clooney or somebody who does like one for him and then one for the studios or whatever. Is, is that something that you like to think about or do? Or I don't have that. I don't, I don't have the same freedom as George Clooney, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, if you're not like in the next like Avengers, like then <laughs> something's gone wrong. Like seriously, if you can't pull strings to get in there, something's wrong. It's, you know... I don't know, man. I just sort of, just whatever comes along you, that you want to do, you say yes to. I, 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 that's, at some point soon, I'm going to make my own thing. I'm going to create, I'm, I've, I've written something that we're working on uh, getting made that would be a television show. Uh, so until then, I'm just sort of a gun for hire, and whatever comes along that I like, I say yes to, and what I don't, I say no to. Well, that raises an interesting question. What have you not done yet that you would like to do? I mean, you've done, like, sci-fi, you've done uh, period... I mean, if you consider things like Night's Tale period piece, but, like, you know, right. you've done a wide variety of stuff. Is there something you're just like, man, I want to be the um, serial killer in a <laughs> Silence of the Lambs movie or something? Right. I want to be Hannibal Lecter. I mean, right. Sorry, Mads Mikkelsen, season three of Hannibal, <laughs> you're going to take over for it. No, uh, none of that. No, no, no more kill. I'm, I've killed. I've done a lot of killing. Um, I used to say romantic comedies. I would love to do some kind of like odd, quirky romantic comedy, but I don't even know about that anymore. Uh, I, I, I've done. I've done some plays where I've played the guy in the middle, where a lot of stuff happens to some. You know, you're the guy. Where all the stuff happens to that guy. Those are fun, and that can take a lot of different shapes. It can be like a farce. Uh, it could be. It could be a romantic comedy. It could, you know, th those types of movies where you're you're juggling a lot of problems. I imagine something with full frontal. I feel like probably full frontal. Yeah, you know, that's what you know. Fassbender's done it. Clearly, it's worked out well for him. He's got Academy Award nominations. Right. So clearly, that's the secret to success. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What is it like sort of transitioning from being like a um, leading man-ish type character to sort of like a parental uh, mentor-ish type figure? Is that something like you've noticed in your career as you've gotten older that like it's no longer like, oh, I'm the young guy who's hitting on the girl. And now I'm like the guy who's mentoring the, the kid trying to go to college. Right. I don't think I ever played the guy who got the girl. I got a couple of girls, but I... It's just another... You got some pretty good girls. Let's, let's be honest. Like, you got some pretty good ones. I, yes, I have. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, to all the girls I've loved before, really. Uh, but... It's, you know, it's a fun role. I, I've... Uh, as you get... The benefit of being a character actor, which I, I'm... You, you can grow old acting, you know. It's sort of, uh, you're, the, you're the type of guy who can't, you know, the actors who have to maintain some kind of look with Botox and surgeries and stuff like that. I, I'm not one of those guys. Like, if I get a lump on my face uh, that just grows there one day, uh, then I, you know, I think that ben I'm, it benefits me. I'm more castable. I mean, I, th I think it helps just, I mean, allowing you to be in more interesting things. Because it's sort of like when you reach a certain level of success, it's like all you can be is like the good guy star of the movie. Like, right. how many like evil George Clooney roles do you see now? Yeah, not there aren't many. a lot of, not a lot of evil George Clooney. He, you never see him with the bump on his face. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. He never gets bumpy face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you've got Premature doing its world premiere at South by Southwest. Is there anything else 
coming up that people should keep their eyes peeled from you? There's going to be a, a independent, another independent movie called Welcome to Me with Kristen Wiig, which is really that interesting. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Kristen Wiig band, so. Yeah, she's great. Um, and, oh, a TV thing on Adult Swim called Newsreaders. Have you seen this at all? No, no. Oh, man. It's so good. Uh, it was on one season. It's, uh, it was a spinoff from Children's Hospital. And they really? did one season. Yeah, they did one season last year. And uh, it was very funny. I, I watched it. And then they lost their host. And so I'm the host this season. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so it's it's going to be on in June, June or July. Very cool. Called, yeah, um, and then, of course, you're saying you have your own project that you're developing as well. Yeah. So, um, for all this type of stuff and more, where do you have a Twitter? Or where should people actually look to keep up? Keep up the- with me? I never, t- I don't tweet that much about work. It's um, just all personal. So if they want to get the nitty gritty, I just I'm like, this is what I'm eating life. now. This is what I'm eating now, and then, uh, no, I. Uh, I definitely, uh, I think it's Alan Tudyk on Twitter. I'm whatever. I'm verified or whatever that is. Um, we'll check. Yeah. I when I do do my when my when I do do my thing that I was talking about that I'm creating, uh-huh. I'll definitely be tweeting about that. Very cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for doing this, Alan. I wish Cheers. you the best of luck and uh, check out more interviews at MacGuffin. That's MacGuff dot in and. Uh, We'll see you next time. Dig it. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. Mr. Spock can't stop me. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.